Hi, this is Judd. Uh, if you haven't seen our first video of uh, the Tim Hortons packs, we're opening up 100 packs of uh, Tim Hortons card that came out today on September 21st, 2016. I promise a less of an intro, so if you want to know more and see what we hit the first uh, first video, go back and watch that one first. And then uh, come back to this one and we'll see what we get on this one. Okay, so I'm going to go right into it this time. So, we have... Nathan McKinnon. Uh, nice card. Uh, apparently it's a little rainbowy. My wife and I were talking about that during our little intermission there. Uh, these cards have a high gloss on them. So they're actually pretty nice. You just got to... Uh, they're not as glossy in person, but uh, it really shows on the camera that they're quite glossy. So this will be one of his last cards for this team because of the trade and I agree with him trading him people are upset but Taylor Hall he got traded to the New Jersey Devils for Adam Larson we needed D if you can see I'm in all Oilers gear because I'm a die-hard Oilers I got the tattoo I got the hat on I got the shirt on anybody who knows me you can see the back wall it's a little bit of a shrine yeah I got I'm, I'm a little obsessed with the Oilers so that's a nice card. I mean, I'm from Edmonton. I was born in Edmonton. Didn't live there that long, but nice card. I still, I have a Taylor Hall uh, thing up on the wall, but he's not an oiler anymore. But like the oilers say, once an oiler, always an oiler. So it'll stay up there for quite some time. Until maybe McDavid runs over the hole downstairs here. Alexander Steen. Really good player. He had a breakout year, uh, what was that, two years ago. His father is Thomas Dean, played for the Winnipeg Jets for quite some time. Now his, uh, his father's into politics in Winnipeg, or was. I haven't heard him in politics lately. I wonder what happened. I know there was that case against him, something out of Boston Pizza. I don't know if it ever was true. Probably people just telling lies. All right, Ryan gets laughed. That's a, that's a nice card. Good team. That team is always on the top somehow or another. They had a bad start to last year, but they pulled it together. So we got a pure another pure gold card. Anze Kopitar. Sorry, I'm trying to get less reflect, uh, reflections on there so you guys can see the cards better. So pure gold. Anze Kopitar. LA Kings. All right, put that in that pile. Mark Stone, Ottawa Senators. Uh, yeah, he's been there for a few years. I think that's what it says. Sorry, sorry, Sarah, sorry. Yeah, so Mark Stone. All right, making my wife's life a little hard with my, uh, for her camera work. So what pack are we on? That was six, seven, I've opened up to this video. I think this is number eight out of a hundred. It's gonna be hard to keep track. All right, we might lose count. Don't make fun of us. We'll forget by the time we hit fifteen. Yeah. We'll think we're at fifty-five. Robbie Fabre. He's a. Uh, he had a really good uh, season last year for the St. Louis Blues, but he got trumped because it was such a good rookie class. I mean, you had McDavid, who is like McSavior, like everybody. Well. Like I would call them. And then you have Eichel. And then you have Panarin in Chicago. This guy kind of got put off to the side. But still a very good player. He's still... He's going to be... He might not be a superstar. But he's going to be top of the league there for a while. This is a nice card. Platinum Profiles. Carey Price. That's a very nice card. Like it. Montreal Canadiens. We'll see how he does without his buddy PK in front of him this year. But, I mean, this guy can win a game all by himself. Well, I guess not win because he can't score, but that guy will uh, save a game. Matt Duchesne. I thought this guy was going to be a superstar. He still might be, but he's not as good as I thought he was going to be. But So, we'll say this is Pac-9. Pac-9, all right. How are we doing for time, Sarah? Trying to keep these 10-minute videos 
trying to keep it bearable to watch. I know when I'm on YouTube, if it's anything over 10 minutes, I might just go to something a little else. Don't mind our dogs in the background. They think they're uh, bigger than they are. Dustin Bufflin. Dustin Bufuglian. One of the big guys in hockey. He's been around uh, the league a little bit. And a uh, pretty solid player, actually. I have nothing. I'm not a huge Jets fan, even though I do live in Winnipeg. I'm a bigger fan than I let on. But because I'm an Oilers fan and Oilers are my team. But I support them because my friends, like my buddy Rich and Mare and Trapper. I, I, I'll root for them. And my father-in-law, he's uh, Sarah's dad. He's a... Uh, He's a big uh, Jets fan. Well, apparently my dog wants to clue in on this video. So, now we got, uh, what's this one called? Game Day Action. Henrik Zetterberg, just like the other cards. Nice, looks like a game day ticket, section, row, seat. Hmm. Oh, even the back of the card. You know, I haven't looked at the back of the card of these. It's a well laid out card. You know, it says what team he's on. It describes what was happening in the picture, kind of. Is that what that's doing? It's talking about uh, something. Zetterberg. Moment that happened in the game. Zetterberg tailed in the third. Tallied a third period goal, putting in a rebound off of Gustav Nyquist. Shot when the visiting Red Wings beat the Sabres. 4-3. Alright, well I'm going to have to go back and read what the other ones were then. Oh. And then we have Cry Baby Crosby. Cover boy Crosby. Yeah, Cry Baby Crosby. He is the spokesperson of this product with Nathan McKinnon, but... You know, he doesn't cry as much as he used to. I think he got smarned up a little bit. But, still. Pack number 9. No, I think now it's 10. Now it's 10, alright. Well, that, that was your way, my wife for you. Ah, Philip Forsberg. Philip, yeah. Nashville Predators. Don't know much about him, so still a nice card. So, this is uh, Blake Wheeler, local leaders. And uh, Winnipeg, the city we live in. Actually, Sarah and I live like a five-minute drive from that bridge. I have to pass that bridge twice a day to and from work. So, uh, where'd that one go? So, what are we doing for time? Should we cut the video there? Do one more pack. Okay, Sam Bennett. I think he's going to be a good player. Unfortunately, he's Calgary, so he's dead to me. Last pack for this video. Let's see if we can get a big hit. We got a big hit last video with that. Uh, uh, who was that again? That phenom. Oh, Philip Forsberg. Yeah, it was a special card. If you want to see what the card was, go back to the first video. We showed it. So, in this pack, we got Ben Bishop. Oh, sorry, Ben Bishop. He will be traded this year. I mean, that goalie right behind him is coming up hot. He'll be traded or they're going to leave him for uh, Las Vegas to take, I believe. They're probably not going to put much stock in him. So we got Pure Gold again, another one. This is the third one that we've acquired today. And this, who is it? Sean Monahan. Again, Calgary. I would burn these cards, but I mean, I'm trying to put sets together. So I guess I'll keep them. And Phil Kessel, the guy who has a career-saving trade. He was with Boston, and, uh, then he was with Toronto, and almost went to a... Uh, what do you want to call that? He almost faded away, but then he went to, goes to Pittsburgh in his first year in Pittsburgh. Boom! He wins the cup. So good for Phil. Okay, we're going to cut the video there. We're going to go on to number three next. So this is number two, so... Uh, we're going to get right into opening up packs in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe. Because we're going to, Sarah and I are going to do this a lot more. This is a passion. Good enough.